Yo, what's up guys? As you can see by the title and the fresh new thumbnail I have made today, this is a match preview and a match review mixed in one. I'm going to explain more now. As you guys know, sometimes I sometimes do reviews after the game, giving my opinions and my thoughts on the recent performance from the Reds. And then sometimes I'll do a match preview where I give my opinions and thoughts once again on the upcoming game. And as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, today we're doing a bit of a mixture. And this is what I want to do for more often. I'm going to do it in between each game. So the video is going to consist of the first half, me reviewing the last game. So this one will be me reviewing the 1-0 loss to Middlesbrough. And... The second half of the video will be me previewing Hull City, who we take on Saturday. I feel this is a more efficient way of doing it instead of uploading two videos and I can just put it all in one and you guys can give your thoughts on both as well in the comments. If you guys do like this idea and you do like the new thumbnail I made, it took a lot of effort to making that. Um, if you do enjoy it and you do go on to like it and you want to see more, hit that thumbs up. Can we hit 15 likes on this video? That would be amazing. And, sub and subscribe as we're closing in on 1.8k. First half of the video, we're going to talk about the game against Middlesbrough. Wednesday night, 500 Barnsley fans travelled over to the Riverside, including me and some of my mates went down. And as you guys know, and as you guys saw, which if you haven't already, go check it out, my vlog, where we ended up losing 1-0 to Middlesbrough. From the away end's point of view, it was... We, it might not have sounded it from the TV cameras or the Middlesbrough fans, but it was loud in that away end. To say there was only 500 fans, a good 60% of people were singing while everyone else was. And I thought it were good from the Reds fans, getting behind the team. And credit to you guys that came down to Middlesbrough as well. And our next away game is Cardiff, and I can't see many of you guys going to there. I'm going to do my best to get there, but that's another story. This game, we made a few changes from the Blackburn. Um, the likes of Sibbert got dropped. Harme was injured, Patrick Schmidt got dropped, uh, Cavare came in and had a shocker, uh, Dougal didn't start a CDM, which we were expecting, Mowat dropped, which was a poor decision, Chaplin came into the squad, Brown and Woodrow up front again, um, Radlinger had a top game, Ben Williams to me were one of our standout players with the two clearances off the line and just... Overall, good performance from Ben Williams, but overall, a bad performance and a bad result. We've played a bunch of teams down bottom now. We've played Stoke, who were down there, lost to them. Played Middlesbrough, who were down there, lost to them. Played, played Huddersfield down there, lost to them. Lewin, lost to them. Wigan, didn't even score against them, drew 0 nil. It's not looking good, guys. As you know, I think we've got six, seven points clear now. It's looking... It's bad, it's bad. Like I said in my vlog, I was frustrated, emotions were high, but it looks like we've gone. But you've got to keep faith, you've got to stick behind him. It's horrible. I've never seen a club in such a mess, our club, in such a mess as what it's going through now. Since I've been supporting him for at least the last 10 years, I know that's not a big scale compared to some of you guys that will be watching, but 10 years and I've not seen much like this. It's bad. The um, Some of the things that people were saying towards the end of that middle of the game, it won't go. People are getting frustrated. People are fed up. People are spending the hard-earned money like myself, taking time off work to come and support the Reds. And at the end of the day, you can complain what you want, but it's them players out on the pitch. Us fans can only show up in numbers week in, week out. We can't actually do anything to um, change what's happening on that pitch. We can only support them. And at the end of the day, the match you've got Pep Guardiola in, you've still got them same players on that pitch. We need, unless we have a miracle in January and we're not too far adrift in January, then it's looking unlikely that we're going to get anything from this season. But, I don't even know at this point. 1-0 loss, Ashley Fletcher scored, a bad mistake by Cavare, if you guys saw it. He actually outstrengthed Tavernier to get it and then did a bad touch. If you watched, if you watched, if you watch carefully, all I had to do was knock it to his left or kick it out. Instead, he knocks it to his right, and that's where Tavernier nicks it and gets it and gives it to Fletcher. Also, Cavare, whenever he loses the ball, he doesn't track his man. If he would have tracked Tavernier, he would have a chance. He could have picked him back up and tackled him, but he didn't, and we lost 1-0. And that's my little review for Middlesbrough. Very poor, all over the park. A few individuals, only a couple of them that actually cared on that pitch. And credit to you, Barnsley fans, that fell at followed them and came down to the Riverside. And I hope to see you all there on Saturday. As I do know, the attendances are going to drop hugely. 
Right guys, on to the second part of the video. This is the review for the Hull City game. 3 o'clock on Saturday, Barnsley versus Hull City at Oakwell. We take on the Tigers. Let's hope we do not get more. It'll be a good title, but let's hope we don't get more by it. Hull City were just below mid-table, or around mid-table, after drawing 2-2 with Middlesbrough from being 2 Nil behind, Middlesbrough got a red card. That gave them a leeway to get back into the game to draw 2-2. They also played yesterday in night like us. They were they was coming up against the um, top goal scorers in the league, Preston North End. And not a lot of people saw this coming. Hull City battered them 4-0. I haven't seen the game or the highlights. They might not have battered them, but 4-0 sounds like battering off the eye. But yeah, they put four by Preston, who are one of the best team, one of the better teams in the league at this moment. So they're coming into our game off the back of a lot of confidence. Jared Bowen, um, Tommy, I do believe it is some quality players. Grisicki, um, our role player McDonald, he don't really play because of his unfortunate thing that's happened to him to do with um, cancer or whichever it is. Unfortunate for him, and I wish him the best of luck. But yeah, they're coming into our game with a lot of hope and a lot of optimism. If there's somehow any Hull City vloggers watching this, you want to collab, DM me on Twitter or Instagram, Barnsley on Tour, just Barnsley on Tour, just straight as my name is. And if there's any other vloggers that want to collab later in the season, let me know. But yeah, coming into this game, not feeling confident, not at all. I don't see where we will win another game this season, but. Uh, if I had to give a prediction, I'm going to say 3-1 to Hull City. I'm not sure how many fans will bring down, but I'm sure we'll find out. It's been raining all week, but it has tipped to not be raining as bad as what it was Wednesday at Middlesbrough. So we'll see on Saturday. Let's hope it's not as bad. Uh, but yeah, based on team lineups at this point, it doesn't really matter what you play. It's just the same old, same old. Feel sorry for Mowat. He's the only player that deserves any recognition at this point from me. But in January, there's going to be... The club's in an uproar, as you guys know. But if we sell Mowat and Wunsho in January, Jesus. They'll find where Conway lives. They'll find where Chen Lee lives. And oh, it's not going to go down well if we sell any of them in January. Which I can guarantee you, one of them will go. Unless we miraculously start winning back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Which is just not going to happen. Um, The... These are the type of games where we come in and just usually lose 1-0. But knowing us, we'll, um, after Hull City battering Preston, who actually battered us, we'll somehow go and beat Hull on Saturday. Or we'll go and beat Cardiff next week where we tip to get nothing. We'll win a game that's the most unlikely game to win. And that'll be our next win, I can guarantee you. Um, but yeah, coming into this game, like I've already said, not feeling confident. Team lineup, I'm gonna give you my team lineup that I go for. I stick with the diamond formation. I think it could work. I stick with Radlinger in net. You've got to keep Cavari at full back, but you've got to learn him to not be lazy and track back after he loses the ball. For me, you play Diaby and Harme if Harme's fit. If not, you've got to keep Anderson in there. Ben Williams has to start at full back. Um, CDM. You cannot play Mowat at CDM. Mowat needs to be further up the pitch. He's our only creative player. You've got to have Kenny Dougal sitting. Mowat, Barre, and I don't even know at that point. Who do you want to put at Cam? For me, I put Luke Thomas at Cam. And I put Woodrow and I put Chaplin up front. And um, I wouldn't play Brown up front. Or I'd even try Brown behind the strikers. But Brown were playing as left striker. And to me, he looked out of depth. He couldn't really read the game from what he's doing. He used to be out wide on the flanks and not as a left or right striker. But that's the team that I go for. Um, let me know your thoughts on what team you want to do. And let me know if you do like this new style of video where I do a, pre a review and a preview in one. If you do like that. Let me know, as I think it's a quite a good idea. Instead of bashing out, like I'd have to do a review today on the Thursday and then a preview tomorrow on the Friday. This might be up on the Friday. This might be up on the Thursday. I'm not too sure. But anyway, if you have made it this far, you are a legend. I try to make it about 10 minutes so I can do five and five, so it's quite equal. But score prediction for the Hull City game, I'm going to go 3-1, like I've already said, to Hull. Uh, don't think we'll... Um, don't think we'll be getting out from that but it is what it is i'll be there again i'll be vlogging it make sure you put a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe as every little like and every little subscriber helps on this channel more than what you think but yeah like i say once again thank you for watching thank you for supporting the channel it means the world i don't get a lot of views but the ones i do i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you on saturday
Falar logo.